Hi, my name is Shalini Sudmenderada. I'm one of the glaucoma specialists at the Cleveland Clinic Coli Institute. And today we wanted to have you join us to go on a tour of our facilities and just discuss how we've adapted to the COVID pandemic. Most of my patients who are being treated for glaucoma see me two to four times a year. So we were trying to figure out alternative, more creative ways for patients to be seen. So when a patient enters, and actually all of our employees also need to do this, um, they get a check with temperature and they get asked COVID-19 questions, screening questions, to make sure that it's okay for them to be in our offices today. And then the front desk staff will have them come up and then they'll, they'll go ahead and get them checked in. You can look around in our waiting area here. The chairs have been turned around so that we can accommodate patients in our waiting area, but safely distanced. Once the patients are checked in, they can go ahead back and sit down, and then the technicians will then call them back. So how have we changed our patient workflow? A few of the things. First of all, even before a patient comes in, we're trying to implement pre-visit charting. So essentially what happens is, is the patient is called one to two days prior to their visit. We review their um, HPI, their past medical history, allergies, medications, anything except for the chief complaint or any assessment and plan issues. That really helps in saving the in-office chair time. One of our safety checks that we have here is an insurance that the room has been cleaned or not cleaned. If it has been cleaned, the check is up. If it is now dirty, we have the X as a reminder to all of us to go ahead and clean this room before the next patient comes in. The hybrid visit is a really great solution during our lockdown period to allow my glaucoma patients to come in, be reassured that their pressure was okay, but only have contact with one healthcare provider. This hybrid visits is essentially doing some in-office visit with a combination of telehealth. And this could include either just a pressure check or visual field testing, OCT, some kind of diagnostic test, and then a follow-up with the provider, either by phone or through uh, virtual visits. So when the patient comes in, we deal with the typical vision, checking the vision, but then as far as the pressure is concerned, we have a few options. One is the eye care tonometer, the other is Tonopen, and then finally for my glaucoma patients, oftentimes I'm using the Tono Safe Disposable tips. Uh, so we can still do the gold standard of the Goldman Applination Tonometry. Those patients that require some kind of diagnostic testing, they stay in the room. We actually go ahead and place two flags to designate that this patient needs diagnostic testing. We updated and upgraded our visual field testing in July to the HFA3. And you can see here our new machines. So few modifications. One is we keep the doors open when the patient's getting the visual field testing. Um, we are cleaning the machines, obviously, after each patient as Zeiss has recommended. We wait at least five minutes after the cleaning for the next patient to come in. Uh, because of the HFA 3A's just intuitive nature, we find that the patients require less coaching and it's just faster to get the setup as well as um, the technician themselves no longer have to be in the room constantly having to remind the patient to stay focused. And as the time is shorter, it's gone from C to standard, which is what I typically did before, over five minutes per eye. We're down to two and a half minutes per eye. And that also has made it easier for patients to complete it. Okay, this is our suite for our cataract evaluations. Uh, so basically again, one patient, one room. You can see we've got our IOL Master 700 and then our corneal topography atlas. This is our VisuCam for our fundus photography. And we not only have the one um, OCT machine, but we also have a second one as well. One of the critical issues is education for our glaucoma patients. The most important thing is with glaucoma, patients are not aware that they're having changes. And so it's all about showing them exactly what's going on. And this is where the other part of this, the change from pre-COVID to now has occurred. Back in May, we had Zeiss come on board and teach us exactly how to optimize utilization of glaucoma workplace form. And it also has been a great time saver for us. 
One of the things that I find best is when I have a patient sitting here, I can easily turn my large monitor and show them exactly what's been going on over the last several years. The visual field browser allows me to quickly bring up all the visual fields from the right eye and the left eye, and it allows for both the mixed 24-2 standard all the way to our 24-2C, CETA faster. So it allows us to be a little more precise in looking at those central, the central vision, which is obviously going to be more impactful for our patients in figuring out if there's change or not, and if it's functional vision loss or not. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope that this gave you some ideas about how to handle the COVID workflow and uh, a thought of how we're handling things at, at the Coli Institute.